Hey everyone, how you doing? It's Mike here, Skinny Boy Barbecue. Today, we're gonna to be setting up the Big Joe 3 and doing a pork loin on the Big Joe Tisserie. So let's get started. So the first thing I want to show you guys is how I'm going to set up the Big Joe 3 for the Joe Tisserie. Now the Joe Tisserie is going to hang on the left hand side, so I've just got it down there. I've got the power source just here as well. But I've only filled half the basket with the uh, the charcoal. So I've got my little divider in here. Now what I'm going to do is I want the charcoal to burn evenly. So, excuse the running around, we're going to take three of the fire starters. I want to get one just in there, get one in the middle at the bottom, and then I want to get one just on the left hand side. Because I want my fire to burn evenly, and I want my pork to cook nice and even. Cool, so we're going to let that sit there now kind of 10 minutes. I've just taken the pork loin out of the fridge. Now, I started this yesterday, and all I've done with this is pop a, um, score it, and then pop sea salt all over it. Um, and we've just left this now to, to get nice and dry, rubbed off any moisture, got nice and dry, and let the salt sink in. So I'm just gonna go wash my hands, and then we're gonna season it up with a little bit of apple rub by Heath Wells. So, while the grill is coming to temp, all I'm going to do is lightly cover the skin with the rub. We're going to start flipping it on its ends. So hard to do this one-handed, especially when you haven't got a stand because you haven't sorted that bit out yet. We're going to get the back, making sure we get the sides. Give a nice coating because it is a big piece of meat. And then we're going to let that sink in. What I'm then going to do is pad this skin dry because I want this skin to be as dry as possible. So I'm going to wash my hands, wash the pot and we'll come back and I'll show you how to skew it on. So what we're going to be waiting for now is we're waiting for the Big Joe to get to about 350 Fahrenheit, so about 175 Celsius. And the reason why we're going to do that is because, as you can see here, bottom vent is all the way open, top vent is all the way open. That's because I want to get this dome heated up. When I get to 350, I'll close the bottom vent and say it's just about a finger's width, about a centimetre and a half maybe two centimeters width um, on the bottom. And then to dial the temperature in on here, we're just gonna pull it probably to about just before this first line here. And then we're gonna let it 10 minutes and we're gonna wait and see if we've dialed it into the, the 400 Fahrenheit. Then we're gonna come back. We're gonna get the jotisserie. We're gonna pop it onto the, um, better not make it run away. We're going to pop it onto the ring and then we're going to measure up the spit. So what we're going to do is, because we want this to cook evenly, we're going to make sure the meat is in the centre of the, the fire. So we just have to wait a few more minutes, but we'll come back and we'll get that sorted. So we're just going to now make sure we line the jotisserie up with the fire. So we're just going to pop this on. get the control box and then all we want to do to start off with is just pop this in and then gauge where the meat is going to sit so about there take it off shut it down and then all we're going to do 
is get the pork onto the spit. Straight through the middle, push it straight through, give it a bit of a twist if it gets stuck. Doesn't matter if you skewer the meat with the prongs, but then we're just gonna follow it back with the other side. And that's it. In about five minutes time, we're gonna get that on the jet. So guys, the grill's up to temp. We're now just gonna get this pork line straight on the jotisserie. Just gonna give that a bit of a spin around. So we've got it nicely positioned in there. Let's turn it on. And then there she goes. What I always like to do with some of the seasoning is just try and get a little drip pan in there, just to keep the the joe, the joe clean as well. But we're gonna come back and check this in 45 minutes, but let's get the lid down. Check. It's looking all sealed around the edges. It's looking good to me. And we might throw a bit of apple wood in there for smoking. So we'll see in 45 minutes. So you can't smell this. See the little waft, you probably can't even see it. It's a little waft of smoke. I love smoking, especially big chunks of wood. Like the apple wood there, just, it's, it smells fantastic now. So I'm looking forward to this. We'll have to wait and see. Ah, oh, it's starting to look amazing. So pork is done. The internal temp is 145 Fahrenheit, which is perfect for pork. Now, I've had to put a bit more coal on. Um, through no fault of the marker, Olden Stoves, um, the, everyone's out of big block charcoal. And I'm really struggling to find something which burns long, slow, like the Kamado Joe big block charcoal, the Argentinian. Um, so I've had to top my charcoal up again because the temperature started dropping. It's only been going for about an hour, hour and 20 minutes. So the pork looks fantastic. If you can see it. But I've just put a few more chunks of charcoal in there. Um, I've turned the temperature up. I really want to try and get that skin really crackly. Um, I did it before. Uh, it was running. It was perfect. But um, oh, just crackling was amazing. Um, so I've just cranked the heat up now, probably going to 450, just for five minutes. Then we're going to pull it off. We're going to let it rest for 20 minutes. Um, the reason why we let it rest is because we want all the juices to reabsorb back into the meat. So when you cut it, it's not going to go really dry really quick. So uh, we'll crank this up and we'll see you in 20. And this, my friends, is all she wrote. Finished result. Did we get the pork nice and crackly? We we'll take that as a yes. You need a very sharp knife for this bit. looks brilliant there's little smoke ring from the apple i'm not going to do a taste test but you can just you know it's going to be good eating tonight take care thanks to everyone who's been following me and subscribing on youtube facebook and instagram i uh, really appreciate all your follows don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time